why would she keep some woman like this? I mean, she's a cackling hen. She's a disaster. She's all over the place. But of course, she keeps stupid people around her, and then they're not going to notice how stupid she is. Because believe me, I mean, she doesn't understand anything about economics. Um, I mean, her husband is John H Hinklin, something like that, British or American. So I'm like, okay, well, we get into court and we get in all of these psychological testing that all of you feminists have want to bring into the court and everything like that, it's going to bite you in the ass because it's going to be used against you. But we'll see all of that because believe me, there are all sorts of stuff going on there. Um, so I wanted to, to read, it's getting really hot, so I'm going to read from this and then I, I wanted to get into buying the wars. Um, just briefly, I'll read something briefly on that. So, this is again from the narcissism epidemic. And see, this is the thing about the entitlement of all of these people over it. And, you know, not just, I, this is just, as I said, this is just another case study that I have. I mean, I got ACD, I've got the IMF Family Association, I've got you know, I don't know how many offices up on Capitol Hill. I'm all over the map with the State Department. I mean, let me count the names of the people over there. Um, the White House, uh, GW, I mean, GW is really on a hornet's nest. George Washington University, all over academia. You know, it, it, it is this one huge cesspool. And, and basically the secular human rights uh, movement is just the same as the religious rights movement. I mean, if you look at the rhetoric and the, 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 the ideas and the ideology and, you know, uh, do unto others of you as you would have them do unto you and all of those other things, it's the same thing. But, but the, the problem was was in the implementation, and that's how we ended up with all of these different factions and everybody wanting to kill each other, even if they're in the same Muslim religion or the same Christian or, or the same uh, Jewish. Because everybody, you know, deforms with their psychopathic <coughs> and their pathological, uh, you know, mentalities and, and, and logic. I mean, and it's not logic. So here, all work and all play and no work, entitlement. I'm just going to read a couple of highlights here. Many people in the United States today are simply oblivious to others' needs or worse, think that, uh, that others' needs are just not as important as their own needs. I mean, these people over there, they think they're God's gift to the world. Entitlement. When narcissists feel entitled to special treatment, someone else invariably gets the shaft. Unlike some of the other symptoms of narcissism, such as materialism or vanity, entitlement is like a ghost, difficult to see in solid form, but increasingly wafting in cold, cloudy fingers into everything. You live in a family.